Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So yesterday, I took a trip up to Fulcourt Mountain and uh, the clouds were rolling in pretty thick when I got up to the top. And as I sat there on the rocks in the middle of the clouds, I asked myself, have you been taking care of yourself lately? And the answer to that, not even in the slightest. Now, I have been taking care of myself physically. Uh, I get out and about every day, get plenty of sunshine, vitamin D. But I'm not talking about the physical stuff. Uh, the diet, sure. You know, I cut back on the sugary beverages. Uh, I've included vegetables into my diet. And if you know anything about me, you know my Joel Jet Von Lime. I'm talking more like the mental state. You know, depression is it's kind of a thing that expats deal with, whether they admit it or not. And you might ask yourself, uh, John, you live in a tropical paradise. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want. Why are you depressed? And I had to ask myself that same question. Why am I depressed? Could it be loneliness? The thing about loneliness is that it's defined as an emotional response to the perceived isolation. So I go, I'm not isolated. I hang out with people every day. Why am I alone? Why do I, why do I perceive this isolation? You know, and it could be that I miss people back home. Some of my closest friends. Pretty pussy, baby. <laughs> family members. You know, all the people that used to be just a phone call away and you could see them. Now they're just a 15 hour time difference phone call away. Seeing them isn't the easiest thing. Another thing to bring up is my loss of identity. You know, I, I didn't lose my identification, no. But I lost who I was back in the States. Now, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. But it is just something that I'm having to adjust with, you know? You see, here in Cambodia, I'm a Barang. I'm not a guy from Seattle. Nobody really knows where Seattle's at. Some expats might have a decent idea. Americans probably do, but the majority don't. The majority of people think that Washington State is the same thing as Washington, D.C. You know, and being American, the only thing that matters about being an American is that your passport's blue. Apart from that, nobody cares. Here in Cambodia, I am a Barang. Always will be a Barang. That's just the way it is. I'll give you an example. My friend Kevin. Kevin has been living in Cambodia for an extremely long period of time. He has a wife, two adorable children, Natalie and Jojo. He owns land, he owns a house. Kevin is a Barang. I'll give you another example. This is Thomas. Thomas has been in Cambodia for three days. Thomas is a tourist. Thomas is a Barang. Now, if you move to Cambodia like I did, you'll end up getting involved in the community. You'll end up getting involved with the people that live in your village, whether they're foreigners or not. And you begin to establish a new sense of identity. For me, it was a cool thing. I liked it. Back home, everybody called me by my last name. Here, nobody knows my last name. Everybody just calls me John. 
Uh, do I consider Cambodia my home? At this point, yes. Do I see myself living anywhere else? Not in the immediate future. Some kojo moi. So much for cutting down on the sugary drinks, huh? If you yourself are considering moving abroad, you're probably in the retirement phase of life. And that's great. When you move abroad, it's gotta feel like a vacation. Live it up, enjoy that time. Eventually, that vacation will fade away. You'll lose the excitement. For me, I needed a sense of purpose. I needed a reason to get out of bed every morning. So my suggestion to you is to get yourself involved in something, anything. But whatever you get yourself involved in, put in your time, put in your effort. Give yourself a reason to get out of bed every morning. You don't want to pull a Peter and just lay in bed for three hours watching TikTok videos. So in living abroad, you're going to end up finding yourself in these weird slumps. You're going to have thoughts of loneliness, thoughts of depression. It's going to happen as, as life. What I don't want you to do is to rock up to a bar in the middle of town order a few drinks and emotionally magged up on whoever happens to sit next to you. It's not the right thing to do, it's not fair to them, and it's not fair to yourself. The last thing you want to do is use alcohol to suppress your emotions. You're going to have to talk to somebody. So I guess what I'm trying to tell you is before moving abroad, you're going to have to ask yourself if you have the mental fortitude because at some point, you're gonna feel isolated, you're gonna feel alone. And when you do, you're inevitably gonna ask yourself, why did I move abroad? So I encourage you now, start a diary. Start a diary and write down to your future self what it is you want to accomplish by moving abroad. List out all the reasons why you're considering moving abroad. Now, when you do finally move abroad, much like I did, much like other people did, you put in a lot of legwork. So, for you just to tuck tail and return back home, might not be the best option. For some, it could be. But for most, probably not. A lot of people sold their homes. Uh, a lot of people severed ties with many people back home. Some folks have been living here so long, they don't know anybody back home. Thank you so much for watching my video. I enjoyed making this one. If you have any suggestions on topics, leave a comment down below and uh, see what I can do. Until next time, have a good day.